everyone, this is a video about fragrances that I wish my boyfriend would wear more often. And in this case, the boyfriend in question is Dan, aka Mr. Smelly1977. I'm sure you all know who he is. So, I've raided his fragrances because he's actually just about to move in and he's moved all his fragrances into my house and that means I can go through them all and bring you videos about them which I think is rather fun. So this time around, fragrances I wish he would wear more often. Starting out then, I've decided to go with a scenario for each fragrance. So I think for casual wear, Dan should definitely be rocking Popeye O Fresh. So this is from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is a sweet fragrance. It's the most sweet fragrance I think in this list. This one has notes of neroli, mint, it's got woody notes, vanilla, tonka, sandalwood. I get a hint of a bubble gum or maybe even like a chewing gum kind of thing, maybe from the mint, but also a bit of sweetness like a bubble gum note. Very playful, casual fragrance. So that's why I said this one's casual. This is for when Dan is just running around town, meeting up with friends, going for a plowman's lunch, that kind of stuff. So that's Popeye O Fresh. Dan is actually a guitar teacher and I think the perfect fragrance for him for the work days is Dolce & Gabbana, the original Pour Homme from 1994. So this is basically a beautiful citrusy cologne style fragrance but it's got some woodsy notes, it's got tanker, tanker, it's got tonka, sandalwood and musk. It is just a beautiful, very simplistic, very light fragrance. It's not very heavy, but it just smells gorgeous. And I think that's perfect because he does have to teach younger people and they probably don't want a, a teacher who stinks, although his name is Mr. Smelly. When it comes to being professional, I think this one is perfect because he is light. It doesn't massively project, although of course that goes against everything he stands for. So that is Dolce & Gabbana and that is the Eau de Toilette, just called Poor Hom. Did we know, I'm sure we don't know, that Mr Smelly in his spare time is actually a spy. He's a secret spy but not so secret anymore. I've outed him. And when he's doing his secret spy work, he should be wearing sartorial because he will smell like a freshly washed and starched white shirt. He'll smell like the steam from the iron that's just ironed the shirt. He'll smell like he's wearing a very classy, understated lavender cologne. And there's also a note of concealed knives. Actually, that's not quite true, but that's what I get from it. There's a metallic note in there, and I like to think, if you imagine James Bond, he's got all those concealed gadgets. The notes on Fragrantica are ridiculous. They will not give you any idea of how this smells, although once you know what they all are, you may well pick some things out. I'm not going to list them all here. There is a note of leather, and in actual fact, I'm just going to go and smell my strip now. There is a hint of leather in here, but it is not over the top. It's not very loud. It's underneath the, the smell of steam and metal and freshly washed shirts. So that is sartorial, and that is for when Mr. Smelly is being a spy. This lid, by the way, is crap. Mr. Smelly has to meet the parents. So if he's meeting my parents, then he needs to be wearing the infinitely likeable Habit Rouge Sport. If you don't know how this smells, you really, really should get your nose on it. I'm just going to have a sniff of my strip here. Mm. Habit Rouge Sport is just a perfect balance of you've got some citruses in the top, you can smell woodsy notes, you can smell a hint of vanilla, you can smell musk. And it's all just put together so that it doesn't smell like everything else. You smell really, really classy, really well put together. 
and overall just so damn likeable. So that is the perfect Meet the Parents fragrance. There's a bit of pink pepper and there are florals in here too. There's some rose and jasmine, but they're not very over the top. They're not mega obvious. They just add a bit of a sweetness and a little bit of something interesting to the mix. I love it. Um, it's very strong actually. So this is one, believe it or not, that you need to be careful with in terms of how many sprays, especially if you're meeting the parents, two or three sprays maximum. It genuinely, forget about the fact that it's called Sport. It is a really, really good performing fragrance. I really love this one. Habit Rouge Sport. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but it's still about, you can still find it on eBay, etc. So what else does Mr. Smelly get up to? Well, Mr. Smelly sometimes has to tend to the barbecue. And when he's tending the barbecue, on a hot summer's day, I think he wants to smell a little bit more interesting than a standard cologne. I think he needs to smell a little bit exotic because after all, he's Mr. Smelly. So this is by Andy Tower. Unfortunately, this one is discontinued as well. I bought this one for Mr. Smelly as a partial bottle. So this is not your everyday basic cologne. It's, it is citrusy, it's very, heavy citrusy if that makes sense they're um, very strong obviously kind of essential oil smells going on in there in terms of the citruses but there's lots of spices there's this smokiness it just feels like there's a fire in a desert and a whole bowl of citrus fruits it's just a really interesting take a very exotic take on a traditional men's cologne so I think if you're tending the barbecue, you've got the smokiness coming from your fragrance to blend in with the barbecue. And socially, you smell a little bit more interesting than maybe someone that's turned up wearing Sauvage or just your everyday citrusy cologne freshies. So that is Cologne du Maghreb and it's by Andy Tower, Tower Perfumes. When Mr. Smelly is out having fun, He's not really a clubber, doesn't really go clubbing. But what he likes to do is sometimes with me, we'll watch a band, we like to watch a live band. And in actual fact, he used to play in a band many, many years ago. And if you look at some of his videos, you can see some footage of it. So when he's watching a band with me, he needs to be smelling loud to match the volume of the band. And also he needs to be wearing Fahrenheit which has been setting my hormones on fire since I was about 15. It is such a sexy, rugged fragrance. I bloody love it and it's nice and loud. So if you're in a crowded environment, you are gonna get noticed. And these days, not that many people are wearing it anymore. So you will smell different and interesting as well. It's just so recognizable to me now, but it's got beautiful violet leaf. It smells a little bit smoky. There's just a hint of leather. It's a little bit spicy. There's mandarins in the top. It just is so interesting. It's such a good fragrance. It could be niche if it hadn't already been done by Dior and someone released this niche. It would totally go down very well. I love it. That's Dior's Fahrenheit. So then. Date night indoors, I've written here. So this is a spring, summer, casual date night kind of fragrance. Uh, it's a Lure Homme edition Blanche. And to me, this one is, it's a sexy, masculine, lighter, woody fragrance. Now, a lot of reviewers describe this as smelling like a uh, lemon meringue pie. They describe it as very creamy. I don't actually agree quite with that description. I've got some on my skin actually, and I definitely get the lemon. You totally get the lemon. In the opening, it's really, really obvious, and then it, it slowly, slowly subsides, and what you get is an awful lot of vetiver. So if you imagine, tear dermis, take the orange out of it, take the, the dirt out of it, just think about the woodsiness of tear dermis. 
and you've got that with the fresh lemon, very natural smelling lemon. And that's kind of really all you get there, but it is really, really nice. It's the kind of fragrance that I would want Dan to be wearing on a date night. So it's not too strong because if, say for example, we ended up dancing together very closely, then his fragrance wouldn't put me off my rhythm, if you know what I mean. And I think that's really important if it is date night, that a really strong fragrance can be a little bit off-putting. And I think this one's perfect, particularly spring, summer, whether you will end up going out, sitting in a pub garden, or just sitting at home in the garden having a few drinks. It's a really nice fragrance for that. So this is Avant Garde by L'Enfant. This is actually a really cheap fragrance to get hold of and it is the perfect fragrance for a date in the winter. So I would love Dan to wear this and us to go to a pub and sit by the fireplace, have a few drinks, get really cosy. It is a gorgeous tobacco fragrance. I've got some on paper here. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's tobacco. Smells like wormwood, a little bit like um, a little bit like what's in La Mel, but with tobacco and richer. It's just smooth and really, really good. So that is date night in the winter for Dan. Ah, oh, what do we have here? This is Aqua Armara from Bulgari, and this is Dan's fragrance to wear on holiday. So let's imagine we go to Barbados, for example, and we get jet skis and we're messing around in the ocean and then we're lying in the sun and then maybe we have a few drinks at the bar and there's some lovely Caribbean music going on. This fragrance will take Dan through all of that and more because it is a beast, but it smells bloody amazing. It smells so good, so fresh. It's beautiful mandarin fragrance with some aquatic notes and it is just really amazing. I've only kind of turned on to this one quite recently. I've worn it myself, I've reviewed it uh, fully in one of my other videos and this is definitely the fragrance for messing about on holiday and actually getting some decent performance even if it's really mega hot. So that would be my choice for Mr Smelly on our holiday together. In actual fact, we're going on holiday this month. We're going to a town called Puerto Rico and that's in Gran Canaria, one of the um, Spanish islands. So I will definitely be requesting that he wears this one. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.